Hey everybody, welcome back. It's Enigmatic Entertainment here again. I'm gonna discuss another topic with you. Um, let me get right to it. This is how I live with disabilities. Um, so if you watched any of the old videos where I talk about, you know, how I deal with my various conditions that I have, like scoliosis and so on and so forth, you know, this is really more of a general overview of how I deal with them overall and how um, being disabled affects me, um, how I deal with it, how it, how it makes me feel. And um, of course, I'm not gonna go into extreme details because I could sit here and talk for an hour about it then, but I'm gonna try to be a little bit more, you know, specific. So basically, I do have various conditions that I was either born with or developed and progressed um, and worsened throughout the course of my life that causes me great pain physically and affects my mental and emotional well-being and um, just how I feel overall on a day-to-day -day basis. Um, some of the conditions are lifelong and, or most of the conditions are really lifelong and things that I'll have to deal with every day. Some days are better than others. Some days are quite, quite painful. Some days are more manageable. Um, I'm gonna try to break it down to a few uh, points. First off, I have to go to um, various doctor's appointments um, to get tests done, such as MRIs, CAT scans, x-rays, bone scans, ultrasounds, um, blood and urine drawn for testing as well, as well as a few others that I do on a somewhat regular basis to keep tabs on the progression of my conditions. So it's important that I have things like health insurance and uh, reliable means to get to and from appointments and things of that nature and um, keep track of all my appointments and my results and whatnot. So it's, um, luckily I'm a pretty organized person or I try to be to the best of my ability. So that always helps with that. Um, I didn't grow up with people that really had to deal with the same things I did. They weren't used to going to the doctors all the time and um, having um, disabilities and being born of certain um, diseases and whatnot. So it made me feel like a little bit of an outcast socially, and it was, and is not the easiest thing to deal with. I've had to learn certain medical terminologies and um, redo a lot of reading and things of that nature that I probably wouldn't have if I was just um, quote unquote normal or the average person or um, no disabilities. So, I mean, as a positive way to look at it is I, I use it as a learning experience, so to speak. Um, next, there is the, of course, the physical burden of it. Like I said, I do deal with a lot of physical pain. Some days, of course, very, very much more painful than others. Um, some tasks, I have to limit how much I do or stop doing them entirely because of how much pain they cause in various parts of my body. Um, I'm a lot more, at times, irritable or prone to bouts of depression and anxiety and things of that nature because of the physical ailments that I deal with and the the mental strain that it's caused me. So I am not always the most upbeat or positive as I would like to be. And then of course, there's also the social strain that it can put on me because of the, sometimes I have to do something that I don't typically like to do like ask for help. I don't like to have to ask people for, um, help for help all the time. Like, especially physically, like, oh, can you lift this, push this, carry this, move this over there, <laughs> grab this for me, reach for this, bend down, pick this up. I still try to do what I can to the best of my abilities, but know that if I go too hard, I will strain myself. So I try to be a little bit more um, conservative in my physicality. Um, I do have limits. And that's something that people have to deal with. It's caused arguments, um, fights, uh, heated debates, you know, whatever you want to call it. Unfortunately, some people don't understand. Some people are not as compassionate and some people are. I understand that's just how life is sometimes. Some people can't wrap their minds around it. It is what it is, I guess. But, you know, um, some people will um, also berate me and, you know, insult me 
or be condescending towards me or treat me like less than because of my disabilities. And some people will unfortunately mock me for it because I have a life threatening condition or because I limit myself and I, I'll get called things like lazy or um, like a leech or a user or um, things, things of that nature. You, you understand what I'm talking about, I'm sure. Um, and it's very unfortunate because I, especially people in my personal life, I always make sure I try to explain to them what I can and cannot or should or should not do and things I go through so they understand that there is reasons for why I do what I do and feel the way I feel. Of course, not everyone really deserves an explanation, but I still try to be understanding and be open enough to express my explanations of my physical being and what I've been dealt with and how I deal with it, hence this video. But also there's another side of it there's the financial side. And unfortunately, this side causes a lot of problems as well in life. Um, well, to be quite honest, I have spent most of my adult life unemployed because of these conditions. They worsened by the time I was old enough to work, really, legally. Um, you know, like late teens, um, early adulthood, things of that nature, to where... I never had a full-time job and I never had a job for longer than, you know, maybe days, weeks, months and whatnot, you know? So, um, it caused a lot of financial constraints that I, or the normal person, once again, would not have to deal with to that extent. And it's caused me to have to rely on others financially sometimes, even when I do not want to. And once again, that comes back to the, um social aspect of people not understanding and being um, condescending and things of that nature and also it is a hit to the pride as well and it is not something that I am happy about or anything anything like that honestly but it's always caused me to try to look into other means of income and other ways to try to make a living for myself if possible um, as of yet one has not been found, for me at least. I know some people have found their, their way and their, their um, path, so to speak. I unfortunately have not. I'm still working towards it. But, you know, that's another discussion. Um, but, yeah, that's, that's how it is. It's really not... It's really not something I can really just talk about and not feel like hurt or depressed or to be quite honest with you it's a discussion I've had with a lot of people and it doesn't really get much easier honestly I'm going to wrap this up with just um, another point or two first um, if you are someone that deals with disabilities um, do try to seek out help don't let your pride get in the way of asking for help um, emotional support uh, physical support uh, financial support, whatever it is that you need. Um, don't let someone tell you that you can't do something. Don't let someone tell you that you can. And I hope you understand what I mean when I say that. Um, don't let anyone push you outside of your limits. But don't be afraid to also try new things as well, as long as you're not going to be hurting yourself any further. Um, don't be afraid to experience life still and do the things that you want to do unless you are incapable of doing them because of your conditions. Um, look for people that are truly supportive and do care and understand and are willing to um, be there for you. I personally would like someone in my corner that understands what I'm going through and is there for me but not trying to push or nag me about it but is going to fall back and let me come to them when I need them. I just need to know that you are willing to listen and I am there. I will call you, text you, I will find you, you know, and... I'll be there. Just I just need to know that you're there for me. And, of course, I'm the same in return. I know some people don't work that same way, but once again, this is my personal experiences and how I cope and manage and deal with things. Um, the other thing is um, all, um, there are certain programs that can help. Like there's things like SSI and SSDI and things of that nature, which I'll probably talk about in a separate video. 
and talk about my experiences with them and how I feel about them. And I'm sure there's other programs too, just speaking for, once again, um, this country, the USA. Um, you know, there might be programs to help you find um, employment or to help you get better so you can work or to help manage the pain or whatever other symptoms you might have. You know, sometimes there is help out there, sometimes there isn't. It, you know, it really depends on your certain situation, your conditions. You know, I don't, I don't know what it is that you might personally deal with, but I just have hope for all of us to get better. And of course, also there's other things too that can help. Um, don't be afraid to use a cane or a walker if you need to. Um, I personally have a handicap placard, which is you know the blue things you hang in the rear view mirror of the car. So, so you that you can park legally in the handicap designated parking spaces. It's helped me a lot, especially when I am in more intense bouts of pain to where I am limping and it's hard for me to actually walk or um, stand up or anything like that, um, especially or having to carry bags and things of that nature. It is a very, very helpful thing. I recommend anyone that is dealing with conditions like this to reach out to their doctor and try to get one as well. You need a doctor to sign off on it and to mail it in to the DMV. I believe it's it's a little bit of a process. It doesn't take too long from what I remember, but I do recommend that. And like I said, other aids of mobility, if your condition is one that limits that, like uh, wheelchairs, like I said, canes, walkers, um, and what whatever else it is that you might need to aid in your your recovery or your mobility, you know, and to try to keep yourself going as much as you can and really um that's about it like i said i'll probably cover that other topic in a whole different video and just know that despite all the pain i do go through some days i feel like giving up completely but i still struggle i still fight i still strive i'm still here and for anyone else that watches this and has the same struggles or similar struggles. Just know that there are people out there that care. So don't feel like you are completely alone. Because even if we're physically not there, we're still there. Find a support group, find counseling, find a family member or friend or coworker or classmate that can help you. And if you don't have that yet, rely on your own inner strength and you can pull through this. And I want you to take that to heart. And I'm just going to wrap by saying, once again, thank you for listening. I know it's not the easiest topic to talk about, so please forgive any kind of, um, you know, fumbles I made. It's, it's really not that easy. It's a, it's a little bit of a rough one. But as always, thanks for watching. Stay tuned to the channel for more, because more is on the way, as they say. And subscribe to the channel if you have not done so already. Click the like button if you like the video. Leave a comment if you have any questions, comments, concerns. Um, feel free to talk about your own conditions. Um, if you want to know what mine are, I made videos about it previously on the channel, and you can check those out. I have a playlist dedicated to that. Um, and I do try to respond to comments as quick as I can, and I do read them all. So once again, just thank you. Stay tuned for more. I will catch you guys later. And support the channel. It means a lot to me. It truly is a it's really something I appreciate to be able to sit here and to vent, sit here and to talk to you guys about my problems, the, the things I'm going through, to see if people can relate. And hope, hopefully, really, one of the goals in this series of videos uh, for this show or whatever you want to call it, one of the main goals has always been to help others, support others. So, thank you, and that's it.